love you, Allah. Of the blessings of those who fall sick is that a sickness is one of the strongest and most powerful antidotes to the sins that we commit. There is hardly anything that will expiate our sins, kafara of our sins, that is more powerful than musibas, than trials and afflictions that befit, that befall us. And this is something that again the Quran and Sunnah is full of. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ Every musibah and musibah primarily means a sickness and a calamity. Every musibah that befalls you, Allah says, it is because of what you have done. وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ And Allah forgives because of it a lot. Every sickness and calamity that happens, a, de a death of a, a, a loved one, a loss of a relative, financial, economic distress, physical hardship, a fever, any type of pain and suffering. And once the Prophet ﷺ said that when he visited a sick person, he said, uh, and this sick person was, was suffering from a fever. The Prophet ﷺ said, I have good news for you. He is suffering from a fever, he's tossing and turning. He said, I have good news for you. For verily my Lord has told me, that, and this is in particular reference to a fever, but we can extrapolate to every major disease and sickness. That the fever is, this is Hadith Qudsi, my punishment that I inflict upon my believers so that they don't have to be punished in the hell in the Akhirah. This is a punishment that Allah inflicts so that you are saved from the punishment of the next life. So in fact, it is a blessing in disguise. And so the Prophet ﷺ told the man suffering from fever, I have good news for you, Abshiru. I have good news for you, that this fever means that insha'Allah ta'ala, if you have true faith in Allah, you don't have to face the, the fire of the next. This is the fire of this world. In one hadith he said, this is the fire of this world. It will protect you from the fire of the next. And once the Prophet ﷺ uh, visited uh, the Sahabiyya Umm Sa'ib, and Umm Sa'ib was also suffering from a fever. She was tossing and turning. And the Prophet ﷺ asked her, what is the matter? She said, I have a severe fever. May Allah curse it. The Prophet ﷺ said, do not curse the fever. Do not curse the fever. For verily it forgives sins. Like a furnace gets rid of the impurities and iron. That when you put an iron into the furnace, it is full of impurities. When you take it out, it is 100% pure. So the Prophet ﷺ compared the fever to a furnace. And this is a very good comparison because both are burning. And he said, do not curse the fever because there is much good in it as well. And in another hadith, he said that it will get rid of your sins like a tree in the autumn in the fall. When you shake it, all the leaves come down. So too will the sickness get rid of your sins. And this is something that applies to every single calamity and misfortune. So much so the Prophet ﷺ said, even if a thorn pricks one of you, it will expiate some of your sins. And of course, you all know the famous hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith that every one of us should memorize and apply day in and day out. That amazing are the affairs of the believers. Wondrous. I am amazed. Ajab. Ajaba. I am amazed. Ajib are the affairs of the believer because everything that happens to him happens for his good. Everything that happens happens for his good. If some good happens and he's happy, he thanks Allah. And so that's good for him. If some good happens, he gets a child, he gets a raise in his job, he gets a, a new house, a new car, he thanks Allah. And when you thank Allah, Allah will give you more. And if some bad happens, then he is patient. And Allah rewards him for that patient. And therefore, the mu'min is always a winner. فَإِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ خَيْرٌ The mu'min is never a loser, no matter what happens in his or her daily life. No matter what calamity befalls the mu'min, the mu'min will always come out on the upper hand, having won over because he has Allah on his side. And when you have Allah on your side, you don't care what is happening in the rest of humanity. We don't wish to be sick. We don't wish for a calamity. But every one of us will fall sick and will face calamities. And we ask Allah for afiyah. 
We ask Allah for afiyah continuously. So, but when it happens, and if inevitably it will happen, loved ones die, we fall sick, calamities happen. Allah says it clearly in the Quran, we're gonna test you with good and with evil. When it happens, then we rise up to the challenge and we renew our iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we humble and we humble and submit ourselves to Him. And through all of this, we appreciate the blessings even in this falling sick and in having the musibah that we have had. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who listen to his words of wisdom and then follow the best of it. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu. Allahumma la ta'da'ana fi'ha.